just off to the museum. Go drop off these prints first. Um, Going to do some drawing on the wall. Come follow along. Jeez. Get everybody. I don't know how good this audio quality is, but yeah, we'll see in post production. But um, yeah, so I'm just off to the museum right now. Um, gonna do some drawing on this wall for my upcoming exhibition this weekend, this Saturday. Um, yeah, been a bit MIA on the the vlog front. It's all good. Been keeping busy with all the stuff and also um, I don't know, I just haven't really been feeling it to be honest. Uh, I've got all this gear but I just haven't really done anything with it and um, I think it's a little bit of just that, um, I don't know, rut sort of mentality. Who knows where that sort of stuff comes from but um, yeah, on my way out of that rut which is good. Everyone knows what a rut is. Everyone knows that they suck as well. But um, yeah, so that's that. Anyway, what else has been happening? Um, been tattooing like normal. I'm really looking forward to retirement. Also, a lot of people have been asking um, why I'm retiring. I'm going to do a video shortly after this one explaining why I want to retire. I've, I've explained it in um, older posts and a few older videos as well why I'm retiring and also some people think that I'm retiring to relax you know, to retire like old people retire but that's not the case I'm only 26 years old and when I retire in September I'll be 27 so that's still super young still got heaps of years to do other things but um, one thing I've learned from Gary V and a lot of other people too and just just throughout my life is um, one of the biggest pains you can experience personally, you know, other than losing a loved one or things like that, um, is regret. So I don't want to get old and regret not taking the leap of faith and retiring from tattooing and pursuing other endeavours. Also, um, literally the worst thing that could happen is I end up tattooing again. Like the worst thing that could happen is that ends up not working out but also I do understand that um, the only way that this leap into the unknown or into the next chapter of my life the only way that that can fail is if I stop you know as if I stop and go back to where I was before which is where I am now and um, I don't intend on letting that happen I know it's going to be hard like just thinking about it I know it's going to be hard but um the excitement of doing other things far outweighs the scariness and the fear of the unknown. I know from this I'll learn heaps, you know, a lot of growth will happen. Yeah, so that's that. I'll speak more on that in, uh, in a video dedicated to just my tattoo retirement. Also, I wrote down a list of um, videos that I want to make in my notes page on my phone. And that's kind of based along the way that I think, um, how I see things, also I'm going to try my hand at tutorials, because I definitely watch a lot of tutorials as I know a lot of you do, whether it be makeup, um, dancing, tattooing, vlogging, photography, all those sorts of things, but I'm going to try and make tutorials of how I create the things that I create, you know, the things that you guys see on my Instagram and on Facebook and stuff, how I make all of those things and just uh, yeah, the steps that I take towards those because I've never really thought about my process, it sort of just happens, it's happened organically over the years. But um, I'll try and condense my workshops I have coming up um, next Monday, Tuesday, which is the 9th and 10th of July. <laughs> so I'll try and condense all that sort of information into, um, into a video or into a couple of videos, I'm not too sure. We'll see how that goes as well. Yeah, I've got two workshops next week, 9th and 10th, as I already said. 
on the 10th of July in Whakatane at the library. Um, free entry and they're for all ages. Um, so the first workshop, which is on the 9th, the Monday, it will, it'll be a, a drawing workshop and that'll I'll cover uh, my process in terms of my auto drawings, so all my Māori gods and stuff from the idea stage all the way to finished product. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to finish a product in that short amount of time, but I'll try. Or I'll at least give the tools to you guys, the tools of how to how to finish them yourselves. How to, and also, yeah, that thing, that workshop, it's my first time ever having a workshop like that, so I'm not too sure how it'll go. A lot of, a lot of it'll be uh, intuitive and uh, I'll be just adapting to however the, the group that I end up having there on the day adapting to their levels um, but I will say this though it's not for anyone who is not interested in drawing that sort of stuff you know like anatomy and people faces all those sort of things if you if you hate drawing those things um, probably don't come to this one but if you're open to it come along even if you don't draw it um, now but if you're open to it and have been wanting to know how to even start on that path of drawing that sort of stuff come come down the more people the better like I know with more people it'll be harder to teach but um, I'm sure we'll make it work and we can all just help each other out and I'll also be drawing at the front of the class as well so you guys can see me drawing a piece from start to finish during that day so you can see that it's not um, as hard as you think it is I know it'll, a lot of you will be saying it you know it's easy for me to say but um i'm hoping to be able to break it down and simplify it a bit for you fellas and um pretty much a lot of it like anything just comes down to practice comes down to doing it over and over again you eventually get better at it like anything also on that note too i just wanted to share some something that i learned back in high school from one of my cousins pete barsdale who was also my pe teacher <coughs> And it's um, to do with that saying, practice makes perfect. Part of that is true, but part of it is untrue as well. Part of it that's untrue is people can be practicing the wrong technique. You know, in terms of drawing, let's say you're drawing uh, anatomy. And let's say you, you learn how to draw the anatomy, but you learn um, the wrong proportions, all those types of things. And then you, know, you keep practicing, keep practicing, doing it the wrong way. You know, we all know that it's not going to be perfect. So the, the way that saying should go is perfect practice makes perfect. And what that means to me, practicing perfect technique or you know as close to perfect technique as you can get. And that way, after time as you progress, you'll eventually make it a habit and you'll solidify that into muscle memory. But yeah, perfect practice makes perfect. Practice the right technique and whatever you do, eventually you'll get good at it if not great at it. I'm a firm believer too and you know talent playing a huge role as well but not so huge a role that you shouldn't even begin trying something in the first place. Talent takes you so far and perfect practice takes you the rest of the way <laughs> and you can't be great or you know the greatest if you don't put in the work as well. So if I take that with a grain of salt take whatever meaning you want from that so I'm hoping to teach you fellas whoever comes to the workshops um, how to create good habits when drawing anatomy and yeah, hopefully one day you can be as good as you want to be and I say that because I don't want you to know, compare yourself to me because everyone's different like if I kept comparing myself to the people that I look up to I'd, I'd never make it I'd always be a failure and you know if I'm comparing like that all the time so don't compare yourself to me. It's good to compare in order to, to see what's possible, you know, to see um, how far people have pushed it, just to give you a sense of scope and, you know, a sense of um, scale in terms of how good you can get, you know, the, the boundaries that have already been pushed now. And just know that boundaries can always be pushed. So, um, yeah be that person who's going to push my boundaries and it's going to be hard It'll be hard to push my boundaries for you and me for you and me because i feel like sometimes um, 
my ambition is or the amount of work I put in doesn't meet my ambition and I'm just trying to be straight up and honest um, and that's one thing I don't like about myself you know one thing that I think I could do better is to um, meet my ambition with the amount of work that is needed to be able to meet those ambitions but that's um, that's something I'm working on also I won't say daily as well because that's just not true there's just times where I'm just super super on and super motivated super pumped and sometimes um, I'm not and I'm slowly slowly getting to the point where I'm minimizing those times where I'm in ruts and stuff which is good no one likes to be in a rut yeah this has been good talking to you fellas hope to talk more I think I'll just try and make it a habit and I'll just turn the camera on and I'll just see whatever comes out of my mouth no matter what I'm up to but yeah, we're just at the post shop right now gonna take these prints in talk to you for soon kia ora just parked up off to the museum do this drawing Ooh, what a lovely day in Whakatane today this winter is actually shaping up to be quite dry and quite nice which is good, way better than last year's winter to go right another way. Let's try this way. Hi, how are you going? I'm just in there. Oh, cool. Yeah. Dan. Hello. Dan. Nice, nice to meet you. Me. Hey. Hi, hi. How are you guys? Good. So this is just a little preview of what the whole thing looks like. I'll just go through fast if I can't see it properly, but... Yeah, I'm just pretty stoked. It's gonna be cool. Looking forward to seeing you all here. Quick show. <laughs> Just finished for the day. Um, got a bit done, but still got bloody heaps to go. But yeah, here we go. Got that bit finished. Just for a sense of scale. That's how big it is. Still got that to go. Whew, that was a big day. It's a good day, that. Um, just off back home, and my darling and I got um, dinner reservations at Kadira. So yesterday was our eight-year anniversary. Pretty chuffed with that. Um, hasn't been all, been all smooth sailing, though, as anyone in a relationship can tell you. But... Um, Ups, far away, the downs. Ooh. Hey, had a really good day today. Um, met this cool fella Dan, who was um, 
hanging all the works for the other exhibition in the other room as well. Um, and he also hung a couple of my works as well. He had some cool conversations. It's quite refreshing to um, talk about art again, like, um, you know, about concepts and those sort of things around art and stuff. The way that I used to, or oh, the way that we discussed art back in uni anyway, back at Wintec. So yeah, that was refreshing, it was good. I'll be back in probably tomorrow, Arvo, hopefully, get some more done, and then um, Friday, Arvo as well. Try and get the rest of it done. Yeah, me. Good day. Chef, I know.